Hello, my name's Bob Hutchins and I'm the teaching assistant for the Udemy MySQL boot camp that Colt Steel puts on. I wanted to take a few minutes to uh, walk you through the process of creating a new container on the GORM IDE uh, platform that we're using. Uh, it's really a straightforward process and shouldn't take too long, generally no more than five to ten minutes. So let's just walk through the steps. Uh, let's say you've signed up for GORM and you're then you've reached your dashboard, which is this page right here. So the next step we're going to take is to create a new container. So we click the new container button and you see that we have lots of different fields that we need to take care of and then create the new container. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to give it a name. And I'm just going to give it a name called Test51. It doesn't really matter what you call it. Um, but uh, use something fairly simple because you're going to be typing it a lot when you use the command line. Uh, I'm not going to use a description. You can put one in there. You don't have to. I'm in the United States, so I'm going to use Oregon as my, as my uh, location for the uh, container creation. I'm going to keep visibility private. And the default template is fine uh, to use for what uh, we're doing. Uh, deployment is not used in this course. However, if you want to use Heroku or AWS, you're you're free to do so. But we don't cover uh, that in the course, and I'm I won't be able to help you with anything uh, related to uh, deployment. So the next thing is the stack, and that's the most important piece. And we want to create a Node.js stack. So we just come over here and click Node.js, and then we'll get a summary of what um, uh, what packages are going to get installed into this container and those are all what you need but the the really important thing is we want to click customization for Udemy course the ultimate MySQL bootcamp go from SQL beginner to expert uh, we got to click that button and we're ready now to go ahead and create our container we've got everything filled in that we need uh, just run back through and check yep Everything looks good, so let's go ahead and create the container. Um, well, we get a message up here that says that the container is being created, and it gives you a little um, look right here. So I'm going to pause right now and wait till this container gets created and then come back. Okay, I'm back. As you can see, the container has been created now. I have a little green light saying that um, it's uh, been created. I also have um, the stop button that indicates that it's running in the background. So to run to run the container, all you'd have to do is click the run button. And uh, why don't we just do it so you can see what happens? So it opens up a new tab in your browser, and um, it goes through uh, its initiation initialization process, and then comes up with um, your new container. So as you can see this area over here is what's called the directory structure. Um, you can hide it if you want to or you can uh, see it if you want to. Down here is the terminal window. Um, have a button over here that you can hide it or you can show it. And then this area here is called the editing pane. So really that's it on how to create a container. Uh, if you have any questions, please post them in the Q&A or you can post them on our Discord server. Thank you.